The Stay Green event has just started here in Sunshine Island and today I'm going to be walking you guys through every single step, helping you find some of the hidden things on the islands so hopefully I can make your life a little bit easier. So if you are on your Haven Island, which is the main island, you will see this guy dancing around right here. He is going to be waving at you. If we go ahead and click on him, his name is Wolf, I believe. He is going to go ahead and give you some challenges or some events, some tasks, whatever you want to call them to do. It's going to be called paint the town green. Now you'll see there is four parts to this and the first of which you have to get these tree sprouts. So for those of you who remember the Rosies event, this is going to be exactly the same. You have to get these by completing ships, marketplace and planes. Now I can go ahead and do this pretty easily. I need to collect 280 of these. This amount may be different for you though, as it is dependent on the level you are in game. Okay, and there we go. We've completed a few different things. I completed my ship, my plane, and some marketplace orders. This is gonna give us a nice reward of 100 loyalty points. So you guys can go ahead and grab that. Again, I'm not 100% sure if this is the exact same for everyone, but I know I am getting 100 loyalty points for 280. So we can go ahead and deliver that. Moving on to part number two. You guys are gonna see we need tree sprouts right here here and we also need these things called eco licenses. Now eco licenses you can read the description right here while the stay green festival is ongoing you have the opportunity to earn eco licenses from the quest book so we'll go over and take a look at that in a second the rewards for this is going to be some fine fertilizer 45 of that now 800 for me is going to take a little bit of time, so I'll try and do this as quickly as I can. But let's jump over and take a look at the quests. So here we are over in our quest book, and you'll see that we have this one called Finding Fauna. So we're gonna go ahead and click this, and we're gonna just, yeah, we're just gonna quickly skip past what Lizzie's saying. So basically we have to take some photos of different animals to help her do some research. And we have to find nine of these different animals, and to find them, you have to find the camera icon. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the locations of all nine of these right now. So over here on the Tropicalis Island is where I have found the first camera. In order to take a picture, you simply need to go ahead and click the camera icon. That is going to take a picture. You guys will see that's taken a picture of this turtle and that is one of those completed. Let's move on and find the next one. All right, so we're over here on the Jade Island and you guys will see the panda of course does have a camera next to him. So we are gonna snap a picture of him right there. Lovely stuff, look at him, he looks so happy and that is us done two of these now. And over by the panda just down to the bottom left, you'll see the elephant is there. So of course we can grab a picture of the elephant as well. There is gonna be some interesting facts about some of these but I'm more interested in trying to find them all and showing them on screen for you guys. And if we head over to the right hand side of the Jade Island we're going to be able to take a picture of another elephant over here so let's move on to the next one. And if you cast your eyes up to the top section of Jade Island we're going to be able to find another panda up here. There seems to be loads of pandas chilling on this island and this makes our life really easy because they're super easy to find. Okay and for photograph number six we we have some alpacas or llamas. Let's see what they are. They are alpacas up to this top section and that is number six. And if we head back over to Haven, the main island, you guys will see a camera has now appeared over here. This is for the deer that are chilling. So we can go ahead and snap a picture right there. Okay, and here is the last one. You'll see the stag is just rolling up to this rock. This one does actually take a little bit of time to spawn in. And this one won't actually be here until you've completed some of the other ones. So keep that in the back of your mind. But this is gonna be our last photograph so let's go ahead and grab that a male deer also known as a stag there we go and that should be us now completed no we've got one more to find so we've done eight we've got one more to find let's see if we can find them ah so it looks like we've got three deers to capture over here on this island so let's go ahead and take a picture of the last one which is down right here so there is three on the haven island one over on Tropicalis and the rest are on the Jade Island. So we can now go ahead and we can collect this one, which is going to give us, we're gonna skip through all this text. 
Wow, Diego looks really happy. We're going to go ahead and collect that eco license. So now if we come back on over to the Stay Green event, you'll see we have completed this one, got the one out of one eco licenses we need. We do, of course, still need all of those tree sprouts. And just like that, we have completed this part two. You'll see we have plenty of tree sprouts. So we can go ahead and complete this. Wolf is going to come up, talk a little bit more about what he's doing. And now we can jump in and take a look at part three. And that's going to be two 2,000 tree sprouts, but you'll see I did do quite a lot of grinding, so it shouldn't take us too long. Let's complete this and we'll take a look at what part four is going to hold. So I've been grinding pretty hard and you'll see I have managed to get just over 2,000 tree sprouts. I've got plenty of eco licenses. I'll show you guys how I got all them in a second, but let's complete that and we'll jump in and take a look at what part four is going to hold for us. It looks like it's going to be 7,000 tree sprouts, man, that is really heavy, and eight eco licenses. We also are gonna get two cargo coupons for that, which is pretty nice. But I think it's about time I show you where all of these beavers are hiding. So there are 10 parts to the beaver quest, and on each part of the quest, you're gonna need to locate three beavers, and they could be on any of the islands. So Haven, Tropicalis, Jade, and the Guild Island, and potentially some of the other islands as well. But you guys can see the first beaver is really really easy to find down here on the south section of the main haven island and to collect them all you have to do is go ahead and tap on them their balloon will pop and they'll come back down to the ground the second one is going to be up to the north section of haven and the third one is located over on the second island which is tropicalis it's pretty impossible to miss these first three they're very easy to find and like i said you just have to click on them and that is going to be them claimed we can then come over and click that quest but unfortunately as soon as that quest is claimed you'll notice it disappears I don't know where it goes into the abyss but we don't actually get our next quest for seven hours so there is a timer that as soon as you complete that first quest the second one will start and that's going to be a seven hour gap that you guys are going to have to wait so it's not like the easter egg event where you can just jump from one to one to one you have to wait seven hours between them unfortunately but i have done that waiting for you guys and i can now show you the locations of all of the rest of the beavers so let's jump over and do that part number two you guys can see right here let's take a look and of course we need three beavers once again. Pretty obvious for each one of these, we're gonna need to find three beavers. Like I said earlier, they can be on any of the islands. The first one is going to be over next to the lighthouse on the main island, also known as Haven. The next two, you'll see one of them on screen right here, are going to be on the Guild Island. So make sure you keep an eye out on the Guild Island as well, but both of them fairly obviously located. You shouldn't have too many issues finding these ones. This means we have completed this quest. We can go ahead and claim that and we'll jump over to quest number three. And here we go over on quest number three. We again, of course, are looking for three of these beavers and they're going to be pretty obvious. There are two of them over here on the Jade Island. You'll see the first of them is just above this kind of circular platform thing. That gives us one beaver. You've probably already seen the other one as well. It is just over to the right hand section above this kind of snow. And we can go ahead and tap on that and grab it. We'll see where the third one is in a second. But I must say, I'm a big fan of watching them just float down back to the ground. But the third one over here on the Guild Island, once again, that one's actually just going to plop straight into the water. I guess it's a good thing that beavers can swim because this guy is going down into the water. But let's go ahead. We'll grab the uh, quest right there and we can move over to the next part. Here on part number four, let's take a look where all the beavers are going to be. There are actually one on all three of the main islands. You'll see the first is going to be here on Haven up to that top left hand section. If we move over to Tropicalis, there is also going to be one over to the right hand side above this kind of red foliage and amongst the palm trees. We can go ahead and grab that one as well. And the third one for part four is going to be over here on the Jade Island. You can see it amongst the orange trees right there. And that gives us yet another eco 
license. And we'll jump straight into part number five over here on Tropicalis. You guys can see the first beaver is actually over to the left hand side on the volcano island. So you need to keep an eye out for that one. The second one is going to be over here on the Jade Island. You can see it tucked in just below this bridge over towards the right hand side of the island. And let's see if we can find the third one as well. It looks like it's going to be over on the Guild Island. And if you zoom in, and you will be able to see it floating quite high up in the sky right there. And that is the third one. And that means we've completed beavers number five. Moving on to part number six, the first one, pretty obvious up to the top section of the Haven Island. We'll go ahead and grab that one. Pretty easy to spot this one. Moving on to number two for part six. You guys will see it's up to the top section of Tropicalis. Again, really, really easy to find this one. And the third one is going to be actually on the chest island so this is where you do your daily quest you guys can see it is over here so this is a little bit trickier but this is part six completed jumping over to part number seven we have two beavers on the haven island the first of which is over to this left hand side island just off of haven and the next one is really really obvious you're not going to miss this one flying high in the sky We'll go ahead and grab that one. And the third one for part seven is going to be down to the south section of Tropicalis. So we can go ahead and snag that one as well, completing part seven. And moving over to part number eight, I accidentally clicked the first beaver, but it would be right here where I'm zooming in and out of over on the Jade Island, just above where my mines and stuff are. That is where the first beaver would be. So apologies for missing that one. The second beaver is going to be over here on the bottom right hand side of Tropicalis. And let's see if we can't find that third one as well. Looks like it's going to be back maybe on Haven. No, we got the wrong island. It's going to be over on the Guild Island and it is down to the south section just over here to the left hand side we're going to click on it right there apologies i couldn't quite remember where it was but there it is right there we can go ahead and grab that and that is part eight completed moving on to the ninth part of the beaver quest the first of these is pretty obvious over to the left hand kind of middle section of the haven island we'll go ahead and grab that one first the second of which is going to be over here on tropicalis tucked in behind the trees over to the top left hand side of this island as well this is quite a difficult one to find and the third one is going to be again over on the guild island this one again is a little bit difficult to find tucked in behind the guild building right here but we can go ahead and grab that third one completing part nine and what i thought was going to be the final part of the beavers quest is right here this is part 10 the first one pretty obvious again on the haven island just above where the planes and stuff go the second one also on haven island to that top right hand side behind this orange tree and the third one is actually going to be in a location we haven't had before and and that's over in this other island just to the top left hand side of Jade and that completes part 10 but you'll see there is a new one called Beaver's Checkup so let's go in and see what that is all about and it looks like we're gonna have to take some more photographs of beavers all right so you guys will see we are one eco license short here unfortunately but we have got that quest to complete and that is the beavers checkup so we need to find six cameras and take pictures of those beavers this is going to give us a profile picture as well as that all important eco license so, so let's go ahead and try and find them so it looks like there's going to be two over here on haven island the first of which is just to this top left hand side just above the tent so we can go ahead and click on that and that is going to take a picture of that first beaver which actually doesn't seem to be there it just looks like there's kind of an empty shadow so i'm not quite sure what's going on here but the second one if we continue to scroll up to the top of the waterfall we can go ahead and click on that there is going to be a beaver in this picture but there's actually no beaver on the island so let's jump over to find the next two so we're over here on tropicalis and you'll see just to this top section we have the first camera over here we can go ahead and take that picture again there's beavers in the picture but no beavers actually on the island and if we continue to scroll about i believe the other one yep it's just over here to that right hand side we can go ahead click on that that's going to take another picture of two empty shadows yeah i'm not too sure what's going on here but that takes us up to four 
picture. So we have two left to find. The fifth picture is going to be over here on the Jade Island over to the right hand side. You'll see the camera right here. So we can go ahead and click on that. Again, there's an empty shadow, but the picture actually shows you the beavers. And I know for a fact the last one is over here on the Guild Island and is right over to this left hand side on these empty kind of house looking buildings. So we can go ahead, click on that. That is going to show us our final beaver and it means we have completed the beavers checkup event. So let's go ahead, grab that. We can complete that for the final eco license and that all important profile picture. So if I now go back over to my main island and we can jump in here and we should hopefully, yep, here it is right here, have unlocked that beaver profile picture. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did find this video helpful. I know there was quite a lot of information in this video, so feel free to go back. I'll try and have chapters in there so you guys can catch all of them. Sorry this video took so long to get out. Obviously, I had to wait seven hours between each of the beaver quests, which has taken me a little bit of time. But if you did enjoy this video and you found it helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could leave me a like down below. Subscribe as well for more content, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.